Hello and welcome! This video is designed to help you maximize your test time with our LaserTech system and ensure that this is the right solution for your business. We'll walk you through everything you need to know about the equipment, its features and how to set it up for an efficient and engaging experience. We'll cover the main components of the system, including taggers, headbands, vests, game control devices and accessories. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to operate the system and its advantages for your laser tech arena, rental business or tactical gameplay events. Let's dive in! Our first tether is the Falcon F1 Premium Edition. It is a lightweight, ergonomic model designed primarily for younger players and casual gameplay. The compact size makes it easy to handle, while its durable construction ensures longevity even in high-use environments. The Falcon Lux Cremium Edition is our high-end model designed for players who demand the best experience. It comes with an IPS display, multiple firing modes and a longer shooting range, making it the perfect choice for professional setups. To turn on the tagger, press and hold the power button for a few seconds. Remember, each tagger has a unique ID number, which must be matched with the assigned headband or vest. The IPS screen provides essential in-game information including M account, health points, active weapon mode, game timer, your ranking during the game, Wi-Fi connection, battery level of the dagger itself and accessories connected to it, like headband, vest or scorpion shop band. This allows players to stay fully engaged without needing additional screens or external tracking. The reload button, located here, allows quick reloading. Depending on the game mode, you may need to manually reload after emptying your clip. All Falcon models are equipped with a two-hand sensor. This ensures realistic gun handling by requiring both hands to be engaged while shooting, helping eliminate unfair one-handed play. Our taggers include a recoil simulation, providing haptic feedback each time you shoot, making the experience even more immersive. For additional safety, our taggers come with a protective rubber tip reducing the risk of accidental impact injuries during fast-paced games. At the bottom of the tagger you will find the charging ports. Each tagger includes two connectors, one for standard charging, one for charging the recoil itself. If your tagger's battery runs slow, simply plug it into the universal charger included in your set. A key part of the LaserTech system is the headband Neutronic available in camo and black. These headbands include multiple sensors to register hits and provide haptic feedback to players. As you can see, we have four hit sensors on the device with the team coloring indication. The headband includes a hygienic cuff, which is easily replaceable to maintain cleanliness, especially in high-traffic environments. It absorbs sweat and others that are a natural part of active gameplay. For expanded heat detection, you can use the Vest Neutronic. It increases realism by registering hits on the torso, making the game even more dynamic. The Vest is adjustable to fit both kids and adults. You can use the Vest, the headband or both. Additionally, you can also add a Scorpion Shop Band to the Premium Game Kit. The Scorpion Shop Band is an optional add-on that provides a mild electrical pulse when a player is hit, adding an extra layer of realism. It features five intensity levels, allowing players to customize the experience. In order to switch it on, you need to press the power button here and then press this button to choose the shock level, you will see the light indication growing alongside with the shock level going up. 
the Syria station is used as a revival or healing station. Players can activate it by touching the sensor or shooting at it, instantly restoring their health or ammo, depending on the mode you are playing in. In order to switch it on, you need to press the power button here. A bit later, I will show you how to add it to the game using the application. The Smart Domination Box is a capture point used in tactical missions. Players must hold the position to claim it for their team. In order to switch it on, you need to press the power button here. A bit later, I will show you how to add it to the game using the application. To manage the game, you can use the Smart Remote Control or our application. The remote allows quick access to basic controls like start-stop the game, team color selection, assigning roles like VIP, Zombie, Vampire or Stormtrooper. With the application you get access to advanced features including live player statistics, weapon customization, detailed game settings, opportunity to select a default scenario or create your own ones, the same applies to choosing or creating your own characters and weapons. This is ideal for game organizers who need more flexibility in game playing and faster setup. In this test drive, you receive the tablet with our app pre-installed on it. Charging is simple with our universal chargers. However, be sure to only use the designated power adapter for the router as using the wrong one may cause damage. All game elements communicate through our Wi-Fi router. Ensuring seamless connectivity between taggers, vests and game control devices. You do not need any internet access, you simply need to plug it in and power on to ensure the tablet and the equipment is connected to the same Wi-Fi source. Now, let's walk through how to use our remote control to run a game session. You simply aim the remote control to the device sensor and press the necessary button, for example. In order to start the game, you press the start button and the tagger will make a sound, while the display indicates the active game launch. If you want to double the player's life, you do the same, simply press the necessary button while aiming at the tagger. Now, Let's walk through how to use our Game Control application to set up and run a game session efficiently. To start, power on the tablet and open the LaserTech Control app. Ensure your Wi-Fi router is turned on so all devices can connect. Just check whether the tablet is connected to the LaserTech Wi-Fi. When the app opens, it will automatically detect all connected equipment, including taggers, vests and game accessories. On the lobby screen, you need to click on the plus button and choose the devices you want to add to this game. You'll see a list of all detected taggers and game elements. If any device is missing, make sure it's powered on and within range of the router. Next, we'll add players to the session. Simply tap Add Players. You will see them all in one team. You can press and drop them to another team. Or you can click on the Automatic Distribution button that is located here. Now let's select a game mode. The system includes multiple pre-configured scenarios such as Team Game – Classic Elimination Mode Capture the flag. Players must secure the enemy's flag. Kids game, a simple game where players have lots of health points and ammunition. Deathmatch, every player stands for themselves, there is no team play. You can also create custom scenarios by adjusting the rules, health points, ammo limits and more. If your scenario includes interactive devices like the Smart Domination Box or the Sirius, you can add them here. The app will detect them and you can assign their game functions such as capture timing for the Domination Box 
or the countdown timer for the series. Next, we set the game duration. You can use the preset time or manually enter a custom game length. Once everything is ready, just press Start Game and the system will automatically activate all devices and taggers. The ad will display a countdown and players will be ready to go. For advanced gameplay, you can assign special character roles to players, these include Sniper – increased accuracy but limited ammo Medic – can heal teammates using the serious station Zombie – can infect other players instead of shooting them And more Simply tap on a player's profile, go to Presets and select the one you want to assign When the game starts, you can track why statistics in real time, the app will show. Hits and deactivations per player, device captures, and more. At the end of the game, a full scoreboard will be displayed, which can be saved or shared with players. You can see it in the statistics session. You can access different scoreboards navigating these three tabs. Whether you are running a quick match or a custom tactical scenario, you have full control over the game flow and player experience. Now you have a full understanding of how our laser tag system works. With advanced features, durable equipment and easy setup, this system is designed to bring maximum excitement and efficiency to your laser tag business. Even though our laser tag system is designed for seamless operation, some common issues may arise. Let's go over potential problems and how to quickly resolve them so you can get back to the game. Our tethers have a two-hand sensor for realistic handling. If you are holding the tagger with one hand, it may not fire. Make sure both hands are gripping the tagger correctly. If the tagger is turned on but not appearing in the app, it won't function. Go to the device list in the app, refresh the connection and ensure it's properly paired. Some scenarios disable shooting until the match officially begins. Make sure the game countdown has finished before trying to shoot. The impulse feedback recoil effect can be toggled on off in the game settings. Go to the tablet app, find the tagger settings and enable recoil feedback. If the battery is too low, the recoil system may automatically shut off to conserve power. Try recharging the tagger and test again. If the headband or vest is beeping continuously, it usually means that the corresponding tagger is not powered on. Simply turn on the tagger and the beeping will stop. The game system relies on a dedicated Wi-Fi router to connect all devices. Make sure the router is turned on and properly plugged in. Check that the tablet and tethers are connected to the correct Wi-Fi network. The router's network name and password can be found on its label. If devices still don't connect, turning the router off for 10 seconds and turning it back on, restarting the tablet and reopening the app, refreshing the device list in the app. In rare cases, other nearby Wi-Fi signals can cause interference. If you experience frequent disconnections, consider switching to a less crowded Wi-Fi channel in the router settings. Most minor issues can be resolved by simply turning the device off and back on 
or reconnecting it in the app. If you encounter persistent problems, check the troubleshooting section in the user manual or reach out to our support team. You now have everything you need to set up, manage and troubleshoot your laser tag system. We've covered the key features, gain setup and how to fix common issues so you can maximize your test session and see firsthand how this system can benefit your business. Now it's time to put it all to the test. Power up your taggers, launch the game and start playing. If you have any questions along the way, our team is always here to help. Enjoy the game and let's see what the system can do.